Hey YouTube, what's happening? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update on Litecoin. Guys, right now Litecoin's at $111.95. We're down 2.27%. And basically, guys, what we're doing right now, we're waiting to see if Bitcoin's going to break up out of that rising wedge or if we're going to break down. And that's why you've had so much sideways consolidation. There's actually a lot of guys who are probably going pretty crazy right now because they love trading and they're looking for these moves right here, guys, or these moves down. They're looking for that volatility. So whenever we move sideways like this, Excuse me, that can get some people anxious, ready to make a play. And guys, that's right now what we need to do. We need to be patient. Patience is the absolute key, I promise you. Being patiently waiting for when this break happens. Because right now, guys, it really is a 50-50 shot whether we're going to break up or we're going to break down. So we're going to plan for the upside. We're going to plan for the downside. going to go over a few things with you today. I appreciate you being here with me, guys. If you like these Litecoin videos, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Appreciate you being here with me, my friends. All right, guys, let's get into this. So what we're looking at today and what I want to spend some time with you on is trying to capture trends. And that's what I'm doing, guys. And that's why I use a lot of trend lines as well, because I'm looking for trend line breaks and different things like that. So just as an example here, what I want to show you guys is just a rough trend line. And we'll go off the real bodies here, guys. Take a look at this break now. Okay, so what happened was we were having lower highs and we were having lower lows, and then we broke out of this, guys. We back tested it slightly here, and then we continued this move up, and it just continued all throughout that. So, this trend line break here, guys, this was, I believe it was close to a 30% move or so. Let's take a look. All the way up to there. So, guys, a 44% move off of a trend line break. And that's why I'm going to continue to harp on these trend lines for you, okay? Because right now, what we're experiencing, and you can see that's what changed that trend. So, we went from lower highs and lower lows to higher lows and higher highs. And they were coming in, guys. And what we're still having, we're still putting in this higher low here if we can make a move to the upside. But there's some things that are taking place here, guys. And we're getting pretty overextended. But what's happening, we're in on the four hour chart right now, guys. Just to let you know where we're at here. We may get out into the day a little bit, but I want to show you what I'm looking at up tight on my computer right now in terms of what I'm charting off of and making moves off of. I'm I'm trading off the four hour chart right now. That's where I've been in for quite for a while now, I'd say a week or two. So guys, what we're having here, this was our first trend line break. So we had this beautiful impulse wave come back in. We retraced down to this 20 EMA here, and then we made had another impulse wave on some good volume come in. And what happened was we came back down. We got a nice hammer candle off this 20 EMA with a bullish engulfing candle. And guys, it looked like we were going to continue this move to the upside to challenge that $125. And you know what, guys, and this is why crypto is the wild, wild west. Technically speaking, we would have been waiting for that next impulse wave to come in there. And guys, that's not what happened. All of a sudden, we even closed up above this high that we had here. So that was indication that, yeah, we're going to continue this move up. Then all of a sudden, we got met with this um, bearish engulfing candle with a trend line break. And once that happened, we fell down. It was almost 15%, guys. So now the trend line that I was looking at here was this yellow trend line. And this just recently today broke. We had a break to the downside. Now we're kind of moving sideways and we're having a bit of a death cross now of this 20 EMA crossing down over this 50 moving average on the four hour time frame. So if we are to get pushed down there guys I would look for support around 106.91 if it goes to that area then ultimately that 104.65 and what we would have to do is reevaluate the situation here to see if we get a bounce off this 100 day moving average at this 104 if that's something that's going to happen guys and if that doesn't hold the nice thing about this pattern here is we built a lot of support and resistance areas so you know it, say we break where we're at here guys we have that off the real bodies 10703 and then we have that 10465 then we could come down here and, and play $95 and that's not even counting the moving averages or the Fibonacci retracements that you'd have on there so I just want you to realize it is nice with this trend that we've been getting a lot of support and resistance it hasn't just been one celery stick up because guys whenever it does shoot up really fast like that it will come back down and on the one day chart it's looking a little bit more like that that we really had that big shot so we're just going to wait and be patient now to the upside save this four hour candle here guys 
excuse me, this next one, if we can get up above this 20 EMA and close up above it in that 50, that would give us a shot to try to get back into this trend line. If we got back into and hadn't having candle closes inside that, then we could come up here and potentially challenge that $119.41 right in that range. But right now we did have a four hour candle that closed down through the moving averages and through that trend line, guys. So really pay attention to that 107.15 and then ultimately down there around that 104.65 then you'd have to just start working your way back down guys if anything crazy did happen but that is Bitcoin guys that's Litecoin it, it's a wild Mustang and you have to be prepared that all this can be looking like hey we're moving up for another leg up and it can dump and that's just this game so that's why you got to protect yourself with stop losses always so now what we're gonna get into here is the stochastic RSI we want to take a look at the stock that's a lot of what I've been trading is off the candles trend line breaks moving averages stochastics so guys, right here, it looked like we were wanting to get a little hook and try to come over top of that, and we actually fell to the downside. Right now, we're at 13 and 11, so we are in oversold conditions. So we have to look out for that because each time down around this area, guys, we have been getting a slight little bounce here, here. You can see that, and then ultimately, you have the next little move up. So we're going to have to be patient. We're going to have to wait just to see where this next four-hour candle closes. You know, guys, this last candle we had tried to push up to these moving averages we couldn't get up above it but we did have a higher close than the close we had previously so that that was a good thing but we're just gonna have to see this has just been such a tight range in here guys it has been so tight so next thing I want to look at so that is oversold right now in the four hours guys next thing I want to look at is our RSI and with our RSI here's the trend line guys we want to draw it's going to be an important trend line. So right here, we're going to see if this acts as a ceiling as overhead resistance and just keeps pushing us down or if we get a break out of that. If we start breaking out of that trend line, that can be a good sign that we're going to have another leg up. And right now in the RSI, guys, we're at 47, so we are just neutral right now. We're cruising. You can almost turn this into a little symmetrical triangle if you drew a trend line down here as well, guys, because we are having higher lows while we're having lower highs right there. So we're starting to get a little squeeze effect, and we're just going to have to see which way we break. But right now, it's all about why watching Bitcoin and paying attention to it and that's why I did that Bitcoin video guys if you haven't checked it out about the rising wedge we took the encyclopedia chart patterns and we went through and we were basically trying to identify where we think we're at in this rising wedge with Bitcoin and it looks like guys we're almost at that three week mark which we would need to mark that rising wedge as opposed to being some type of a pennant and we're about there so we could be really getting a break at any point so just stay very aware of that next thing I want to go to is our MACD and guys, if you love Litecoin, smash that like button. We're just trying to, to see which communities really enjoy these videos the most. And I got it pretty much pegged down to my top five. So you want Litecoin to continue to be up there, guys. You love Litecoin as well. I love Litecoin. Smash that like button. I appreciate it. So guys, on the four hour here on this MACD, we did have a bearish downward cross. Histogram was ticking. Now it's getting a little more neutral. So guys, what I can tell you at this point, I'm not going to continue to ramble on much more. Well, what we're going to have to do, these candles are getting tight. We have to wait to see which way the volume is going to come in here, a break to the upside or downside. Remember, a break to the downside, you don't have to have huge, massive volume like this. Naturally, I was just reading about this last night, guys. Naturally, the price can drop on its own without people buying. But if we're to break to the upside, really look for large volume. We're talking this type of volume here to accompany it, to know that it's a real move and not just some type of you know 5% failure breakout to the upside. So can you get downward volume that's huge absolutely guys take a look at this right here and that just gives you more of a sign that we may continue to move to the downside a little bit you know guys this could even be a precursor right here to where we're seeing that bearish engulfing it pushed us down we tried up again and if bitcoin breaks down then that's probably where we would start falling as well so those are my targets guys upside remember we're looking around that 125 see if we can get up to 125 it's very important that we could test that area right up in here guys let me pull this out for you just so you can see you know what? let's go on the one day take a look on the one day here so guys these are we have to use support and resistance they're so critical in cryptocurrency and take a look at this trend line break guys on the one day isn't that incredible so really look at those things I, I, I wanna hammer them home with you okay so 
Guys, it'd be around, yeah, around that 125. If we went off the real body, 125. If we went off the, off the wick, around 128 would be a spot. Then we could look up maybe around even, guys, that 147 area right in there. And then it'd be ultimately up to about 181. So that's what I'm looking at, guys. Got our targets for the upside, the downside. Great thing is we're up above on the one day as well here. We're up above all our moving averages. Right there, we've had our beautiful golden crosses of all of them. So now we're just going to have to see, is this a time when we have some type of a pullback or correction, you know, maybe down to that $95 range? Or is this a spot where we still have another leg up to go? We're really going to have to pay attention and just keep a close eye on it, guys. We're at $112, $112 right now. We're down 2.3%. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for being here, guys.